greeting students and welcome back to our channel nagin best digital learning okay now children what were we doing we were doing the chapter birth by ag cronin and let us do some summary okay let us uh, study summary and then we will do question and answers the uh, birth summary starts with andrew mainson recently out of medical school who had an argument with his girlfriend also his mood was very low while returning home at home he saw john morgan who was persistently waiting for him to wo kya dekhte hain john morgan ko dekhte hain jo ki uske um, practitioner ke bahar ghar ke bahar uska wait kar raha hai as her wife was expecting the birth of the first child now children here what is it written her child ni as her wife uh, ni hoga his hoga right as his wife was expecting the birth of his first child after 20 years of marriage hence doctor was therefore necessary for the delivery to उसके जो बच्चा है बीस साल बाद हो रहा था आफ्टर द मैरिज और इसीलिए डॉक्टर की अब बहुत ज़्यादा ज़रूरत थी ऑन रीचिंग जोज हाउस ही डिस्कवर्स हिज वाइफ नाउ ही हर मीन्स हिज वाइफ अगेन इन लेबर पेन नाउ शी इज़ इन लेबर पेन एंड ऑल द मेम्बर्स वर ईगली वेटिंग फॉर दी बर्थ However, Mrs. Morgan was under anesthesia. Anesthesia, जो थोड़ा बेहोशी हो बेहोश करने के लिए लगाते And at the break of the dawn, a lifeless child was born. और जैसी सुबह होती है children, तो एक बच्चा पैदा होता है जो कि lifeless होता है Lifeless मतलब जिसमें children, जिसमें कोई भी क्या बोलते हैं लाइफ नहीं होती है राइट सो अ लाइफलेस चाइल्ड वाज बोर्न राइट देफॉर मैनसन इंस्टेंटली रिकॉल्स अ सिमिलर केस इन मेडिकल स्कूल अब मैंस जो एंड्री मैनसन है उनको याद आता है कि ये सिमिलर केस था कहाँ सिमिलर केस था उनके मेडिकल स्कूल में सो ही स्टार्टेड वर्किंग ऑन चाइल्ड एज फैमिली हैप्पीनेस डिपेंड्स ऑन इट आफ्टर हाफ एन आवर ऑफ हार्ड वर्क ही मैनेज टू सेव दी चाइल्ड अब क्या हो गया बच्चा बच जाता है नाउ दिस स्टोरी इज एन एक्सट्रैक्ट फ्रॉम सीटा डिल मोर ओवर इट नरेट्स हाउ अ मेडिकल फ्रेशर हैंडल्स अ केस ऑफ अ चाइल्ड डिलीवरी ऑल्सो इन अ सीक्रेटिव वे ही गेट्स बैक लिविंग इन एन अपेरेंटली डेथ चाइल्ड ही अप्लाइज ऑल हिज मेडिकल नॉलेज एंड इंस्टिक्ट फॉर डूइंग सो फर्दर द स्टोरी स्टेट्स द एक्साइटमेंट ऑफ अ डॉक्टर एंड इज and his team ne matlab uske team mein midwife thi and the and the start the story describes how andrew mason recently out of uh, from the medical school was returning home from a quarrel with his girlfriend christine to wo ghar aata hai theek hai wo kis se ladke aata hai apni girlfriend se right on reaching home he finds jo morgan waiting for him एट टू अटेंड फॉर हिज वाइफ तो जैसे वो घर आता है तो कौन वेट करती है उसकी जो मॉर्गन वेट करता है राइट और क्योंकि उसकी वाइफ प्रेगनेंट थी डिस्पाइट द नाइट ही अक्रीज टू अटेंड हर एज ही वॉज एक्सपेक्टिंग हर फर्स्ट चाइल्ड इन ट्वेंटी ईयर्स एट जोज हाउस ही सॉ अ मिड वाइफ मिड वाइफ अ नर्स अटेंडिंग द लेडी हु वॉज वेरी सीरियस and you see uh, sees mrs morgan and took a pause as he could understand that it would take some time while sitting his mind starts to wander in the thought of the people like barnwell who foolishly devoted all his life to a woman who betrayed him in addition he remembers edward page who married an ill-natured bowden and now and was now living unhappily separate from his wife Meanwhile, Andrew had to go back to attend the patient. After half, after an long, um, hour long and harsh struggle, a child was born towards the dawn, but it was lifeless. On seeing the child, Andrew shook with horror. Subsequently, he looks to the mother who needs immediate attention. So Andrew has to choose 
of whom to attend the mother or the child he gave the child to the nurse and attended the mother first who was unconscious steadily her heart um, beat strengthened and andrew now uh, attended the baby afterwards andrew inquired the midwife about the child whom she had put it under the bed among the soaked newspaper so andrew pulls out the child who was perfectly formed he couldn't recognize it's a case of um, asphyxia due to lack of ex oxygen and access of carbon dioxide in the blood moreover he did not lose heart and starts to give the necessary treatment to the child however the midwife told him again and again that it is still born but he didn't listen also he continues his treatment near the conclusion a wonder occurred he rubbed the child with a tar crushed and relaxed the little chest with both his hands he tries to fill breath with limb body after some time the little chest gave a short a uh, difficult motion and the ch- child starts turning round eventually andrew flung a sigh of relief and handed the child to the nurse afterwards he stated the whole story to joe who was standing outside and walked down the street uh, he has an uh, sense of deep uh, satisfaction and that he could achieve something great now though birth summary the writer highlights efforts of doctor and wants to say that we should keep on trying now let us do the questions that are at the back of the chapter okay children what which questions we will do we will do the question and answers which are at the end of the chapter okay now, now see reading from insights i've done something oh god i've done something really at last why does and you say it what does it mean the young doctor and you mason had done a commendable work commendable bahut acha his exclamation is justified he had not only helped the middle aged women in the save delivery of a male child but also restored to perfect health to unhone kaise help kara ek jo wife thi wo kya dene wali thi baby dene wali thi to kya kara unhone unhone sirf usko help nahi kiya balkin mein unki puri ki puri jo health thi wo bhi restore kari thi theek hai susan morgan's strength was ebbing after the delivery theek hai शी वॉज ऑलमोस्ट पल्सलेस मतलब उसकी पल्स ड्रॉप होती जा रही थी और वो मरने वाली थी सो एंड यू ग्रेव हर एन इंजेक्शन एंड वर्कड सिवियरली टू स्ट्रेंथ इन हार्ट तो एंड्रू ने वर्क करा एंड गेव हर इंजेक्शन जो कि उसके हार्ट को बहुत ज़्यादा स्ट्रॉन्ग किया दैट शी केम अ लाइफ द मेजर अचीवमेंट ऑफ एंड्रू वॉज रीस रीसिएट रीसकेट दी स्टिल बॉर्न चाइल्ड ठीक है रीसकेट मीन टू गेट हिम लाइवली जो चाइल्ड था फर्स्ट ही लेट द चाइल्ड ऑफ अ ब्लैंकेट एंड बिगैन द स्पेशल मैथड ऑफ रेस्परेशन सबसे पहले तो उन्होंने क्या किया एक स्पेशल मैथड करा रेस्परेशन का उसका मतलब ये है कि उन्होंने दो टब मंगाए जिसमें से एक ठंडा पानी था एक गर्म पानी था और द बेबी वॉज डिप्ड इन टू वन वन एट अ टाइम इन साइड द कोल्ड वाटर एंड देन द हॉट वाटर देन यू ट्राई द हॉट एंड कोल्ड वाटर ट्रीट ट्रीटमेंट डिपिंग द बेबी ऑल्टरनेटिवली तो एक बार वो क्या कर रहे थे गर्म पानी में डाल रहे थे और दूसरी बार वो गर्म पानी में डाल रहे थे हिज लेबर्ड ही लेबर इन वेन मतलब जो उसकी लेबर थी वो खराब चली गई फॉर हाफ एन आवर ही देन मेड अनदर लास्ट एफर्ट ठीक है तो अब वो क्या करते हैं एक लास्ट एफर्ट देखता है ही रब्ड द चाइल्ड विद अ रफ टावल अब वो क्या करते हैं चाइल्ड अब वो क्या करते हैं चाइल्ड को रफ टावल से रब करता है ही वेंट ऑन प्रेसिंग एंड रिलीजिंग बेबीज लिटिल चेस्ट 
विथ बोथ हिज हैंड्स एट लास्ट द बेबी रिस्पॉन्डेड और सबसे एंड में बेबी ने रिस्पॉन्ड किया His chest heaved. Andrew redoubled his efforts. और जैसी हल्की फुल्की सांस आने लग गई एंड्रू ने फिर से अपने एफर्ट्स को रीडबल कर दिया द चाइल्ड वॉज गैसपिंग नाउ और वो जल्दी जल्दी ऐसे करके सांस लेना शुरू कर गया A bubble of mucus came from his tiny nostril. Mucus means nosy. Came from his nostril. The pale skin turned black, pink. और जो उसकी pale skin थी वो क्या टर्न हो गई पिंक हिज लिम्स बिकेम हार्ड देन केम द चाइल्ड क्राई हिज लिम्स बिकम हार्ड मतलब पहले उस लिम्स में ऐसे लग रहा था बोनलेस है अब उसको क्या बोल दिया है हार्ड बोल दिया है एंड्रू केम अपॉन गॉड एज विटनेस ऑफ हिज एक्ट विच वॉज नो लेस दैन अ मेरिकल इट वॉज नॉट मर थियोरिटिकल टॉक बट अ प्रैक्टिकल अचीवमेंट समथिंग रियल and solid okay now let us do the next question there lies a great difference between textbook medicine and the world of a practicing phys- physician discuss normally the medicines prescribed in the textbooks are used by the practicing physician however in extreme cases of emergency jo ki is case mein tha the physician experience resourcefulness and practical approach uh, become far more important than the theoretical no- uh, knowledge to isme kya bola hai ki jo practical knowledge hoti hai wo zyada importance dena shuru kar deti hai kis cheez se theoretical knowledge se for example a victim of bum bum injury snake bite or suffocation through drowning needs immediate help the nearest available doctor may not have all the facilities needed for that case in such a situation first aid is a must to save the patient's life because rushing him to the hospital for proper care with limited resources at his command the practicing uh, physician exercises all his practice experience to control the damage to his uh, minimum and check the victim's state for further deterioration a stitch in time does have nine in such cases the practical help comes as a boon question number 3 do you know of any incident when someone has been brought back to life with the brink of death through medical help discuss medical procedures such as organ transplant and organ regenerations that are used to save human life Yes, I have seen and heard an incident. यहाँ पर तुम अपना कोई सा भी चिल्ड्रन इंसिडेंट लिख सकते हो बट वट आई हैव डन आई हैव गिवेन दिस इंसिडेंट नाउ वट डज इट से इट सेज येस आई हैव सीन एंड हर्ड ऑफ इंसिडेंट्स वे पीपल हैव बीन ब्रॉड बैक टू लाइफ थ्रू द ब्रिंक ऑफ डेथ थ्रू मेडिकल हेल्प सर्जिकल ऑपरेशन लाइफ सेविंग ड्रग्स एंड organ transplant played a leading uh, leading role in um, modern uh, medical science this is not modem children here this is modern m o d e r n modern okay leading hospitals uh, in advanced countries have facilities for medical procedures such as organ transplant and organ regeneration blood bank and eye bank are quite common nowadays people willingly donate various organs of their body to the hospital after their death the techniques of of organ regeneration help to preserve them for certain period and use them for transplanting and defect organs of another patient nowadays i heart kidney and liver are being transplanted the time is not uh, far off when artificial human organs will be made in laboratories from non human sources now let us do some more uh, question and answers okay uh, see 
who was Joe Morgan and why had he been waiting for Dr. Andrew Mason? Now, Joe Morgan was a driller in Blainley, a mining town. He was big, strong and heavy middle-aged person. Joe and his wife Susan who had been married nearly 20 years to kitne saal 20 saal se wo married the were expecting their first child aur ye kya tha inka pehla child tha joe was waiting for the doctor to help susan in the delivery of the child where did joe lead andrew why did he not go in with the doctor joe morgan led andrew to his house 12 blandley terrace his wife was about to deliver her uh, his first child yeah, her first child after being married for nearly 20 years so joe was quite tense he refused to go inside the house even his voice showed sign of strains don't fret mother i will not run away why do you think andrew says so fret okay mrs morgan's mother offered to cup of, uh, to make a cup of tea for the doctor the experienced woman had realized that there must be a period of waiting so she was afraid that the doctor would leave the case saying that it would uh, that he would return later why did andrew decide to remain un uh, there until everything was over andrew was um, had reached Brian Gover at uh, about midnight and he was worried and upset he needed some rest and sleep uh, he knew that he could not sleep even for an hour if he went home secondly uh, he knew that the case would demand all his attention he felt lethargic lethargic means lazy and uh, decided to remain there until everything was over what had andrew been thinking about um, how would you like to describe the state of his thought andrew had been thinking about his unsuccessful uh, married lives of some persons he knew bamwell was foolishly devoted to a woman who decided as him immoral edward page was bound to quarrelism blondwin and danny was um, living happily apart from his uh, wife his thoughts were muddled and confused why was andrew's view views of marriage was he resentful and confused for andrew marriage was a peaceful and beautiful state he loved christine joski girlfriend thi the conflict between him his steady mind and overflowing heart left him resentful and confused why did andrew feel um surprised while sitting by kitchen fire andrew had been thinking about his beloved and he sat by the kitchen fire he sat still and sadly for a long time when the old woman sitting opposite him suddenly addressed him andrew felt surprised why did a shiver of horror pass over andrew andrew had struggled for more than hours of asked to help mrs susan morgan in his safe delivery of her first child at last the child was born but it was lifeless as andrew gazed gazed at the stillborn of the baby a shiver of horror passed over what dilemma did andrew face his heart uh, promo, prom prompted him to resuscitate the stillborn child his mind uh, dictated him to attend to the mother for uh, who was laying in a hopeless state andrew faced the dilemma whom he would attend first what efforts did um, andrew make to revive susan morgan he smashed a glass ampule and injected the medicine after this he flung down the hypodermic syringe then he worked quite hard to restore the soft and weak uh, woman his heart strengthened after a few minutes for feverish efforts feverish uh, effort in what state and uh, did andrew find newborn child 
what did he conclude andre found the baby amongst wet newspaper under the bed its limbs warm body was white and soft its held loll on the thin neck loll matlab idhar se udhar girna right his limbs seemed bone aur uske jo haath pair the usme kya hai boneless the this the witness over the body means suffocation caused by lack of oxygen why did andrew um, practical experience came handy andrew had come had uh, once seen a similar case in samaritan he remembered the treatment that he um, had been used at once decided to administer the hot and cold weather uh, water therapy what efforts did andrew make to revive the newborn baby ab kya kya efforts dale the first he laid the child uh, upon a blanket and gave its artificial respiration theek hai pehle usne artificial respiration diya fir usne dip kara child ko then he dipped the child alternatively in the hot and cold water after that he rubbed the slippery child with a rough towel he pressed and released its chest till it began to breathe and gave a uh, gave a city how did andrew react for the first glimpse of the success of the of his effort to help the stillborn child came alive as a result of andrew's persistent efforts the small ch- uh, chest of a baby heaved up the shaft heave was followed by another heartbeat and you turned giddy the sense of life throbbing under the feeling almost made him faint next question what was the result of andrew's feverish effort after you know, child's um, chest gave a um, shot Con- convulsive heave andrew redoubled his efforts the child began to gasp deeper and deeper a bubble of m- mucus came from his nostril the limbs was no longer boneless the pale skin turned pink then the child cr- cried it came alive uh, what was the state of the room after the resuscitation of uh, mother and child the room was littered with blankets towels basins and soiled instruments Uh, the hypodermic syringe was impaled in the lon- uh, linoleum by its point the ear was knocked over ear was the jug okay the kettle lay on its side in puddle of water why did and uh, uh, and you say fill fetch my bag later nurse and you had worked hard uh, single handedly and constantly to save the mother as well as the stillborn child from the jaws of to death the constant effort tension depression caused by failure combined to make him weak and dazed his throat was dry what did andrew access that night's work as andrew um, felt driller's house he felt tired he kept thinking of the work he had done that night he realized that at last he had done something real for him it was an achievement now long answer question there are only four long question answers why was andrew mason called in and how did he react to call of duty andrew mason had just began his medical practice in the small wellish mining town of blainley he was called in to attend to susan morgan who was expecting her first child after being married for nearly 20 years her husband joe morgan had been waiting for an hour outside the closed surgery it was nearly midnight when andrew reached there as joe acquainted andrew uh, with his wife's condition andrew forgot his own affairs he went inside the house for his bag and immediately left for the driller's place since his services were not immediately needed by the expecting mother he decided to wait out downstairs he reexamined her after an hour it was at 3:30 when the nurse summoned him summoned him called him he struggled for an hour before the child was 
बॉर्न तो कितने ही स्ट्रगल्ड फॉर एन आर देन ही वोकड फीवरिश टू रिवाइव द वीक मदर क्योंकि मदर की भी हालत बहुत खराब थी एंड स्टिल बॉर्न चाइल्ड He had to use all his knowledge and experience in discharging his um, duty. He did not pay attention uh, to his own physical tiredness or mental tension. Duty came first and responded to it with single-minded devotion. Give a brief account of the efforts made by Andrew to revive the stillborn baby. A shiver of horror passed over Andrew as he gazed at the still form of the newborn baby. Though it was perfectly formed boy, its limbs warm, warm body was white. The wit the witness meant suffocation caused by lack of oxygen. Andrew remembered the treatment given to such a case in the Samaritan. Before the hot and cold water came, he um, had asked for. He laid the child upon a blanket and gave it artificial respiration. Then he dipped the child alternatively in the hot and cold water. Now the child was quite slippery. He rubbed with a rough towel. Then he pressed and released his chest with the uh, chest till it heaved up. it was followed by other heaves andrew redoubled his efforts the child started gasping a bubble of mucus came from uh, one tiny nostril the pale skin turned pink the limbs were no longer boneless his head did not lie back sp spinelessly the child gave mm, a cry mm, it came alive compare a contrast with andrew's emotion and mental physical state at the beginning of the story and at the end at the beginning of the story andrew is physically tired and emotionally upset he has just returned from a disappointed evening with christine the girl he loved his thoughts are heavy and muddled the episode he had witnessed a card of station still filled um, his mind with sadness Though he thought of marriage as a blissful state, he couldn't help remembering the miserable failure of for any of many marriages. At the end of the story, Andrew is physically exhausted, but emotionally cheerful and men and mentally alert. Right, his mind is filled with joy and self satisfaction. क्योंकि उसने क्या कर दिया है दोनों को बचा दिया किन दोनों को बचा दिया mother and wife, mother and baby को He has performed an unusual feat, no less than miracle. और ये क्या है not less than a miracle है He calls upon God as witness that He has done something real at last. Now, वो God का thank करता है, ठीक है कि He has done thing, done something very good. The sense of achievements help him to overcome physical fatigue. His sense of duty towards his patients help uh, helps um, him to attend them wholeheartedly. He forgets his uh, his personal feelings. and thinks only of reviving the patient what impression do you form of andrew mason on the basis of story birth andrew mason is a young man young bahut jawan man tha who has recently qualified a, as a doctor to wo ek student tha abhi bhi wo student hokar medical practitioner tha and started his medical practice as an assistant to aur wo kiska assistant tha डॉक्टर एडवर्ड पेज का किसका डॉक्टर एडवर्ड पेज का असिस्टेंट uh, था ठीक है इन द स्मॉल वेलिश माइनिंग टाउन ऑफ ब्लेनली अब जो हम बोलते हैं चिल्ड्रन वेलिश वेलिश कहाँ है ग्रेट ब्रिटेन में तो वो कहाँ पर काम करता था वेल ब्लेनली में ठीक है जो कि माइनिंग टाउन था माइनिंग जहाँ पर um, Uh, क्या करते हैं चिल्ड्रन जहाँ पर कोयले निकाल के अर्थ को माइन करते हैं ना अर्थ को काट के वो मिनरल निकालते उसको माइनिंग बोलते हैं 
ही इज इन लव विद क्रिस्टीन और ही इज लव विद क्रिस्टीन एंड थिंक्स ऑफ मैरिज एज एन आइडलिक स्टेट और वो मैरिज को क्या सोचता है एज एन आइडलिक स्टेज हिज हार्ट इज ओवर फ्लोइंग विद लव और उसका जो हार्ट है इट इज ओवर फ्लोइंग विद लव हि स्टेडी माइंड एंड रीजन हेल्प हिम टू सी द मैरिज ऑफ एनी पर्सन एज डिसमिल फेलियर्स एंड यू इज मिच्योर इनफ टू कीप हिज प्राइवेट एंड प्रोफेशनल फाइव अपार्ट ठीक है लाइव होना चाहिए नॉट फाइव यहाँ पर आई गॉट इट रॉन्ग हियर इट इज लाइव अपार्ट वंस कन्फ्रंटेड विद द रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी ही डिस्चार्ज इज ऑब्लिगेशन टू द अटमोस्ट कपैसिटी ही इज ड्यूटी कॉन्शियस राइट एंड ही इज नॉट अ थियरिटिस्ट ओनली ही बिलीव्स इन प्रैक्टिकल अप्रोच ही इज प्रेगमैटिक एंड इज नॉट अफ्रेड टू ट्राई यूनिक मेथड्स राइट एंड यू हैज अ टेंडर हार्ट टेंडर वेरी सॉफ्ट विच इज वेरी लविंग राइट सो दैट इज वाई इट इज कॉल्ड टेंडर हार्ट ही इज अवेयर ऑफ द फीलिंग्स ऑफ अदर्स तो वो किसकी ही इज अवेयर ऑफ द फीलिंग्स ऑफ अदर्स ही नोज हाउ डीपली सूजन लव हर कमिंग बेबी तो उसको पता है कि वो कितनी ज़्यादा प्यार करती थी क्योंकि बीस साल हो चुके थे उनका कोई बेबी नहीं हो रहा था He was polite manners and reassuring tone. ठीक है on the whole Andrew impresses us as a dedicated doctor. Thank you children uh, for watching this video. Please like sus subscribe and do comment. Okay? Thank you children. Thank you very much.